Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about one of the most free-to-play friendly hero pair, which is my one of the main hero pairs actually for fighting. Uh, it will be really really useful for beginners to watch this video and even for the late game players such as me uh, because this hero pair is actually still quite popular uh, i have seen even tier 5 players use it and generally me myself i use this hero pair actually in a pretty perfect way because i have gotten a lot of merits out of it and i'm running forts i'm using this hero pair for darkling farming uh, so generally that's the best way to describe the best free-to-play friendly hero pair the hero pair which you can use in almost every single aspect of the game and on the most of them it will be better than average let's uh, dig inside and let's see what kind of hero pair we are speaking right in general in call of dragons mages were one of the most popular like legion types in the game uh, after the long range warfare it got changed uh, we do see more marksmen but still mages are quite often seen uh, on the battlefield the hero pair which i have been uh, speaking about is walder and Welling. let's uh, speak about why this hero pair is one of the most free to play friendly and also one of the most used hero pairs in the game mainly to the free to play players of course well, uh, well, there is really easy to end in general. Any epic uh, hero is really, really easy to awaken. Uh, Welling is gettable from the gold keys. And if you will just prioritize getting Welling, which is quite good if you ask me if you are a mage player, if you will just simply prioritize Welling and you will choose uh, VIP tokens for the Welling, it will be pretty easy for you to awaken Welling and even if you are not using it with the older well well it's used in almost every single mage legion uh, which we have currently in the game so that's another plus for free to play players and in general of course uh, Walder is one of the most used and one of the best if not the best epic heroes in the game uh, in order for us to understand more synergies between these two amazing hero pairs we need to understand what makes them so good uh, that they are <clears throat> still on the battlefields fighting against the enemies right like in general for the epic hero the skill sets well the numbers are quite low if we're gonna compare it to the legendary ones uh, but we need to understand the effects and the synergies which we will have in the future main idea about Walder is of course you are applying some debuffs some march speed and in general like any kind of debuff which you can imagine like for example here uh, attack minus 20%, uh, movement speed minus 20%. Um, here you are getting um, like again some buffs, some, att some attack buffs, but in general if you're gonna compare it to legendary heroes, of course, uh, numbers are quite low. What makes Walder so special is awakening uh, skill uh, which will allow us to deal damage to strainer by legions like in general i think whenever you are speaking about fights you should never mention one versus one fights in call of dragons in my opinion the call of dragons gameplay combat gameplay is focused on like mass pvp lot of legions around lot of legions and they are fighting so i think like in general attacking a couple of legions in the game is a super big boost one of the most underrated uh, like uh, features um, or, or like skill synergies which i love so much and that's like one of the most and main reasons why Walder is still usable even though we already are getting more and more heroes legendary heroes in the game uh, for the synergies of course um, Welling is also like debuff style of uh, uh, legendary mage hero here we are having a 20 percent minus march speed and of course in terms of uh, pure numbers of course well is legendary hero and legendary heroes are having high numbers even on a skill damage factors or any kind of stats like 15 percent 20 percent here uh, in terms of awakening skill well you are you are getting basically 400 extra damage which is quite high if you're gonna compare it to the other 
awakening skills like pure damage awakening skills generally you're gonna see 200 300 and 400 is a great number in my opinion um that's like uh, one of the uh, most usable and most visibly understandable synergies in general like both of them are like ice uh, uh, wizards mages and they kind of match together in general in terms of strengths uh, well i have been playing this game for more than one year and i'm still using this hero pair I mean a great success uh, in terms of like playstyle and the talents, um, like in general, I think Walder should be and is the primary hero in this hero pair, simply because of the skill talent tree, uh, which is the best one in my opinion uh, for the mage uh, heroes. So, like in general, for the talents, which which talents um, I prefer in my opinion, uh, the Spirit of Rage. Generally, you deal damage by using Rage as a mage, and more Rage you are getting like more damage you are applying to the enemy so spirit of the rage is giving us 20 extra additional rage which is great for the mages right uh, thirst for uh, blood when casting a rage skill your legion deals additional hero skill damage to the target legion which is 60 right so like synergy is pretty easy but skill talent tree is important for mages because uh, the skills are the only way for you to do anything uh, whenever you are mage uh, legion uh, and of course um, like skill talent tree until the end for the thirst for the blood and for whenever you have extra points i went for the energy boost yet again more rage accumulation like eight percent chance to add an additional target to rage skills that deals damage to multiple targets uh, of course that's the talent skill i'm using talent tree which i'm using uh, it's um, additionally good whenever on epic hero you have epic mage hero you have a skill talent tree uh, in terms of artifacts that's another way why i think this is like one of the most free to play friendly um like hero pair because every single mage artifact uh, which we have in the game will be suitable for this hero pair like of course as always we have two styles like more defensive one and more attacking one and one of the most primary ones for free to play players to get is phoenix eye you are dealing damage to four uh, enemy uh, legions and uh, damage type is of course magic and 4000 damage if you will ever have um, like five level uh, burst strike that's the amount of damage you're applying more defensive one is of course tr of arbon you can see it in by the stats magic unit defense legion defense and the skill is simply you are healing four friendly uh, nearby legions around the circle which you're gonna put um, on the battlefield uh, in terms of other and more exclusive um, artifacts of course like my orb amazing pure damage uh, my orb is good on any mage legion and uh, Walder and Valerian is not the exclusion um, in terms of other ones uh, of course if you want to go more like his <clears throat> a supportive style in terms of skill first of the Jaugarnits um, inflicts defense break 16% uh, for 20 uh, seconds and it applies them it applies this debuff to the 10 uh, enemy legions uh, that's the artifacts of course infernal flame we understand that infernal flame is best for lilia but still if you have infernal flame and you don't have lilia of course you are going to use this artifact on your wall the rain wedding uh hero pair which will be totally fine uh any type of artifact mage artifact is fine for a wall the rain wedding uh, let's say you don't have any legendary artifacts for mages then magic bomb is your way to success until you're gonna get uh, legendary artifacts for your mages it's basically phoenix eye but way less uh, uh, numbers in terms of damage um, that's the generally the magic bomb like like assaulting epic artifact which i think a magic bomb in terms of epic artifact is one of the best one uh, because of the great skill and the stats you are getting for epic uh, is quite good uh, in terms of uh, war pets, well, war pets is one of my favorite features in the game. Of course, from, for the mages and for Walder and Welling, uh, the war pet section is quite uh, good because we have a couple of uh, mage uh, war pets which you can use. Like number one tier, S tier is Sapphire, Fedrake, and 
uh, Shadow Fedric, in my opinion, for the Waldir and Velin. After that, the lesser version of the good, like uh, less good uh, Warpath is Ice Lizard for Waldir and Velin, but in general, I think Ice Lizard is way, way weaker uh, if we're gonna compare it for Sapphire Fedric and uh, Shadow Fedric. Uh, my number one option is Sapphire, like if, whenever I will get Sir Talent skill um, on my Pain Bloom. Um, I will be able to deal damage uh, to a couple of legions with my Pain Bloom, which is like my main point why I'm playing with all the Unwilling, because I like to deal damage to many more legions who is nearby whom I'm hitting. So that's my choice, that's what I advise, that's what I have been using uh, since day one, like Walder and Willing has been one of my first ever legions in the game, and I'm still using it, um, of course, there will be like many more and different hero pairs which we're gonna get and uh, heroes, but uh, for now I like it very very much. Um, in terms of like generally, uh, of course, uh, the after the introduction of Bertrand, which you can get on the Lucky Spins, uh, for free-to-play players, it become uh, another major hero which you can use and call it as a free-to-play friendly um, hero, like in terms of Call of Dragons and in general uh, mobile games and Kingdom Builder games terms. Um, well. Bertrand, in order for a free-to-play player to get Bertrand, you need to spend gems, right? Uh, that's why I mentioned uh, in a video at, at the beginning that for the World of and Valley, you don't have to spend a single dollar in order to get them, in order to make them strong. So that's why still, even uh, after the introduction of Bertrand, um, well, Dohar is for only for strongest lord and strongest lord is for pay to win players and for the bertrand and the Waldir in comparisons i think yeah for sure Waldir and Wedding is much much uh, free to play friendly than um, bertrand because for Waldir and Wedding don't have to spend any gems in order to get them uh, that's the whole idea behind the hero pair dealing damage to of nearby legions awakening uh, well in uh, getting additional 400 damage uh, you are getting like let's say you are adding uh, uh, 400 damage to the 700 of uh, Walder's first main skill damage and you're still getting like quite a good amount of skill damage with this hero pair um, I hope um, it will be helpful for mage players because I have seen some struggles uh, against marksmen. Um, well, basically, that's the whole idea about the game. Uh, so far, well, I can understand that marksmen um, have been the better ones and it's the newest, uh, like trend so far but in my opinion uh, long range warfare is a new uh, skill for the game uh, we need to wait until uh, people will use it uh, players will use it players will get tired of it and i'm pretty sure for new players mages will still be the one of the most priority choice in terms of playstyle now, simply because the mages are perfectly suitable for just total beginners uh Walder, you can get um, Walder by just picking league of orders and in general league of orders is like the best one you can choose whenever you are starting the game you are getting free Walder uh, tokens Phoenix Eye, which is one of the best uh, artifacts for world there you can get from the normal pools. One of the best hero pair you can get uh, from the gold keys. So generally, like uh, the road for a beginner to choose mage uh, uh, legion type and to get older and to pair it with Wellin and get Phoenix Eye and Sapphire Fedric. Well, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. That's why I still think mages will be uh, popular in the future of this game and we will be seeing way, way more new players who are choosing mage legions and mage playstyle or anything else um, i hope this video will help you to improve to get better or to understand the game in a much better sense if it did press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this game um, i hope everybody will have amazing day uh, morning or night wherever you are uh, we are going to see each other very very soon goodbye and Good luck.